Hey what's up guys, back again with another video in our Node.js and Express series. This time I'm going to show you how to delete games from my website. So now that we can edit games on our website, you can we can change it and edit it and submit it to update it. Let's actually make it so we can delete games if we don't want them anymore, right? And it's actually not that hard, okay? So let's just set up another button like we did before where we have a delete button now. Instead of just the play game and edit button, we're going to add another button to have a delete option, okay? So now we'll make that button. We'll go to list and we'll find it right here. And I already took a button template from uh, the Bootstrap website, so I'm just paste it right there and it has the name of delete. So if we go back now, I have node mod, so it's automatically reloading. If I go back now and reload, we can see that it has the delete option now, so we can delete something if we want to, okay? But we actually need to make the route. So when we click on this, it'll delete the game, of course, okay? So we can go back here, and let's change the, uh, the href. Or we actually, we need to make it into a link so that we can turn it into, or make it clickable, of course. So it should still work if we change it to A. Yeah, it looks kind of weird, but we'll just leave it like that, whatever. And so we'll make this a href here. And we're going to say slash game slash delete. And, um, and then we'll have the ID on the end. So like we did with the edit button. So there we go. We'll say, okay, we'll just actually paste this, copy and paste it. Because I'm too lazy to type that out. So yeah, as you can see here, the route is now going to be slash game slash delete. And then the ID on the end. So we can grab the, the game from the database with the ID, okay? So whenever they click on that, it'll take them to that route. So we need to actually create that route, of course. So we'll go down here and choose a cool spot. I'll just do it right here. So we'll delete route, and then we'll give it a name. So we could do app.delete if you want to use that, but we don't actually have to. I'm going to teach you how to use stuff like that later. It's called RESTful Routing, which is a, uh, a system that you could use for routing stuff. But don't worry about that. I'll teach you later. So for now, we're just going to use a simple git route. So app.get, and of course we can provide the route that we just created. So game slash delete, or is it, is it delete game or game slash delete? Uh, we go back here. Okay, yeah, slash, slash game delete, and then the ID like this. There we go. And after that, we need our callback function. And finally, inside of here, we can make it delete the game from the database, of course, because everything is based on our database. If the if the game is not even in our database, then it's deleted, right? Because to display something on our website, it just retrieves it from the database. So that's all we got to do is just delete it from the database. But just for testing purposes, let's do res send delete page just to make sure that it works perfectly. So we're going we're gonna to reload here, and then we'll click delete. And now, yeah, it takes us to the delete page. So that's pretty cool. So now let's actually make a delete by grabbing the ID. So we'll do um, uh, var ID is equal to rec params ID. And so how do you delete a document from the database? Well, it's actually very similar to the method that we did last episode, the define by ID and update method. But instead, we're going to do game dot find by ID and delete or remove. Wait, I don't think there's a difference. Uh, but anyway, so we'll just do delete and then we're just going to provide ID as a parameter and then finally and then after that all we got to do is provide a callback function so rec or not rec res it's error and then we could just do um, console.log or right, if error then we say console.log error deleting game and then we could say console.log um, oh yeah just log the error just like that and then finally after that else um, that means that it worked perfectly so we could say uh, console.log deleted um, game from database and we'll just I'll put the ID just for um, testing purposes just to verify I guess as a log type of thing so anyway after that we'll do we'll just redirect the person so rest.redirect and we'll just send them to the home page actually no we'll send them to the list page so they can see the list of games without the new the one without the one they just deleted of course right so we'll just go ahead and test that out now and we can just choose one that we want to delete so I'll just delete psychomaniacs cyclomaniacs to delete and now it's gone as you can see here it's that easy it just pretty much deleted instantly so that's pretty cool it's able to retrieve the ID from the game and then delete it straight from the database which automatically reloads the game because we're sending ourselves to the list page and it looks pretty good right so that's how you delete something from the database and how you delete a game from our website so hopefully you like that. It's not too complex, but uh, if you have any questions about what we did, you can ask a question in the comment section below, or you can join our Discord. There's a Discord link below also, so you can join it, hang out with us, 
ask questions, whatever you want to do. It's all your choice. And I know this episode was short, but if you want to see all the code for today's episode, you can look in the description also. All the code will be there for you on the GitLab repository, so make sure you check that out. Anyway, if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, and peace.